Hello, my name is Michael Kaler, and I am the lab manager for the Gyme Diffraction Facility located at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. In this video, I will show you how to prepare a sample if ambient air affects it, as is the case for hygroscopic samples. One major item to note is that while I am demonstrating this in ambient air, this process should be performed in a glove box. So what we see here are the different parts to the sample holder. I'm going to move some of these out of the way and first prepare the powder in the sample holder. So I will just apply a small amount of powder to it. It's a very shallow well so it doesn't take much. That should be plenty. I'll use a glass slide to kind of get that extra powder back in the center. I'll then just press down and wiggle it a little bit just to get it to spread out. This works best if your sample has particles that are more uniform in shape. Um, if it's something like a plate, then pressing down does cause preferred orientation, which can affect your uh, phase identification, but it should be fine for this sample. So next we take this other piece, set the one we already prepared inside. We then take a piece of Kapton film, which I have off camera, and place it over the sample. We then take this ring, place it on top, and then evenly press down. And you can see now that the top of the sample is covered and sealed off by the ring. Now off camera, I took a pair of scissors, made a couple of cuts in the Kapton film, and then tore away the excess. But next we need this outer part of the sample holder. And if we look at it, we will see that there are two notches cut in it. And this piece, which I did not show you before, the securing ring, will go inside here to lock the sample in place once we put it in. Now this has two notches, this has some flat pieces, to it. I suggest trying to make sure that at least one of these notches doesn't line up with a flat piece. So just like that. And that makes it easier later once you remove it. But let's go ahead and put the sample inside. It just sits inside like that. Now the sample is covered with a Kapton, so it should be held pretty firmly so we can flip this over now. We will insert the securing ring. And this can be a little tricky sometimes. Now it's easier than usual. Now we flip it back over and we have a sample ready to test. Now if you want to take the sample out, typically I just use a small screwdriver and let's see, just try and wedge it in there and pry out the ring. You can then Remove the sample holder, take that ring out, preferably not with a screwdriver, you want to use something a little bit softer so you don't damage the ring, but that's pretty much it. If you have found this video helpful at all, please like and subscribe. Thank you and I hope you have a great day.